guys, today I'm actually going to get a haircut. I have my brother Cameron with me. If you guys don't know, Chandler's getting, it's really dark in here, but Chandler, my brother, my other brother, is getting married on Saturday. Tomorrow's his wedding shower. So, family's over right now, that's really cool, but I do need to get a fade and fix my hairline and all kinds of stuff, so. Cameron's talking along with me, and today I'm gonna try to get uh, Gabe, young AZ Barber, make sure to go follow him. I'm gonna try to get him to basically shave the top of my head, and it's like a trick to get rid of frizzy hair on top of waves. So, with that being said, I'm gonna do a wave update today so I can show you guys, because you guys did ask for it, but now let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, it has been, I don't even know how many days later. What day did I get my hair cut? And let's see, Tuesday. In two days, it would be an entire week. I have been like back to back going in on like every single thing right now. Just because of my brother's wedding. You guys can see how much, how ham we went really, like by just this trash outside. Yeah, and this whole time, uh, we just went with the family and I did not want to film too much. And the crazy thing is, is on the family channel, I was like, yo, we're gonna vlog when the family's here, but it's like, I haven't seen my family and hung out with him truly in probably about two years. So I'm like, dude, I'm gonna soak up this moment and enjoy it. And it was a whole lot of fun and I'm glad that I didn't film as much. Actually, I didn't film at all. I filmed a little bit of Chandler's wedding, which is gonna be on the family channel and kind of just behind the scenes of everything that went down, mostly for him to enjoy and then also we filmed the entire thing, um, but that will be on the family channel when it comes out. Now, the thing that sucks is I didn't get too much of my hair right after. I did show you guys, obviously, the haircut while I was getting it, but I mean, you could see it's kind of grown in, but sheesh, I mean, you can still see how clean that fade is. I mean, obviously this side too and the fade in the back. But one thing I am gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing a brush session, and I was actually going to be doing something new today, but I'm not. Now, one thing that you will notice is you can't see the enhancements anymore. So my hairline obviously just looks how my, it, my hairline normally looks. But you guys seen in the video how clean and how sharp it was, especially when I showed you last time when I got my hair cut by Young AZ. It just looks really good. I plan on going back and I'm telling you enhancements are the way to go. But right now I'm actually gonna be doing, like I said, a brush session and showing you guys just a wave update because I told you guys that I would. In the next video, I plan on doing something pretty, pretty wild, pretty different. So stay tuned for that video, but let's go get a brush session in. I use my medium brush and this is like I would honestly call this like an in between medium and soft for some reason and a mirror now guys do not forget you can pick up these at wavyourmerch.com and don't forget to use my discount code save yourself some money all right but I'm gonna start out with the medium this one just like hits a little different and then so does this one this one like really gets the top layer of your hair really good
All right, y'all, moving in with the, I forgot what this is called. It's called the Blue, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure how it's picking up on camera, but I just know that like everything's coming together really smooth. Alright guys, I'm going to do something that I'm not sure a lot of you guys would actually do or even want to see. But I'm going to actually get my lice comb and then comb through and see how much buildup is in my hair. Now I've only put a product in my hair once. Usually when I put product in my hair, it's like an adhesive to like all kinds of dust or dry scalp. Or in other words, dry scalp is called dandruff, which is basically your scalp drying up and then flaking, which is completely normal. Obviously you just want to keep up with washing your hair. But let's see um, how it looks because the last time I washed my hair was about two days ago. So we'll see how quick this collects. I'm not sure you guys up close. Let me wash this though. Now before I do show you guys me coming through my waves, this is an awesome way to actually define them. One thing that I do like is when the waves kind of have like, you can see like I don't know what they're called, like comb marks through them. I like the way that looks because then it defines them. Then also this lifts the waves. So then you're brushing them, it makes the waves a little deeper. And that's also a process. If you constantly will comb them and brush and kind of go back and forth, you are building the definition. And that's the whole purpose of brushing and combing. That's what I've learned. I use a lice comb because it helps bring out all the buildup. And it lets my scalp feel very breathable and very fresh. So I'm just making my camera really bright so you guys can see everything. I'm gonna give you guys a quick 360. So you can see this side is like really thriving. That fade looks pretty clean, even though it's been almost a week old. Still looking clean, like, like looks like it's pretty fresh. Working on the back. I'm telling you the sides for some reason seem a little bit more coarse, which they are. Now I'm not sure if they're more curly, but they are more coarse, that's for sure. All right, here we go. I don't think it's gonna be that bad today. You can see a little bit coming out. Actually, it might be pretty bad. <laughs> but you can see how everything is getting a little bit more defined. But if any of you guys know anything about lawn care, there's a thing called dethatching, which pulls out all the dead grass and you know dead roots and everything. This is basically dethatching. It's pulling out any hair that isn't supposed to be in there, and it's pulling out all the dead scalp. Also, once your hair gets a little bit thicker when you're wolfing, this helps detangle the hair so that your hair is all going the same direction when you're brushing. In order for it to lay a bit flatter. All right, we already got some coming out. And this, I'm telling you guys, this is natural. People were on my last video like, dude, that is not natural. I don't have that in my hair. All right, brush your hair and see what happens. But also, if you wash your hair a lot, then you're not gonna have it. But I wash my hair about once or twice every week. All right, so now I'm just gonna get like really in depth, see how much I can pull out today. And like I said, guys, this is natural. There is hair in there. And like I said, it pulls out dead hair, pulls out all the dry scalp. So I'm just gonna do it in the mirror um, so I can go like really in, focus on the direction and everything. One thing that I didn't mention is it's also pulling out any overused um, product. So if you put too much product in your hair to where it's not even taken to the hair anymore, just chilling on your scalp, it's gonna pull out all that hair, or all that um, extra product as well. But I can say that this is defining the waves a little bit better. So that's good. All right, I think I'm good. And yeah, that feels good. My hair feels nice and deep. One thing I want to show you guys, I'm not, I'm actually quite surprised how, this is how much buildup I have in my hair. I'm telling you, 100% natural guys. But yeah, you could find this stuff, like literally just chilling in your, on your scalp. And this is why it's good to always do it so that your scalp can breathe and your hair can grow a little bit healthier. But you can see the hair in there, you can see the buildup, and I'm telling you, this is just oils, this is dry scalp, and people will say no it's not, but... Sorry I had to break it to you, it is. 
because I'm telling you, I washed my hair two days ago and then I put product in my hair. That's the only thing that happens. And it's not like I'm out there doing a whole bunch of stuff lately because I've been inside the past two days just hanging out with family. So this is just natural buildup. Everyone's scalp builds up at a different rate. Mine tends to build up a little bit quicker. And like I said, everyone's produces oils a little bit differently. Some people have more of a dry scalp. Some people have a really oily scalp, which produces oily hair. For me, I feel like I have something that's kind of balanced in between. I don't really notice my hair being really oily or anything like that, but I do know adding products in makes your hair really oily for me. And then plus covering it with the do-rag kind of pushes out even more oils because my scalp is like trying to overproduce because it's covered. But I'm breaking it to you guys. This is natural, all right? But you can see all the hair. You can see some of them where it was attached to the scalp and it was just hanging on and it wasn't really supposed to be there. So this helps my hair to kind of breathe freely. And I would say it's good. Get yourself a lattice comb and do this about, you know, once a week, once every two weeks. And you'll thank yourself for doing it because you're pulling out all that stuff that you don't want inside of your hair or you don't want hanging out on your scalp because it's not allowing your hair to breathe properly. And it just, what I would like to call is aerates your head, which aeration is basically, yeah, I don't know. If you know anything about lawn care, you know that. But this is good, good news. Don't worry, it isn't nasty. This is all na like natural. This is scalp buildup, dry scalp, product, and hair. It's all it is. It's nothing, it's not lice. A lot of people might say it would look like lice, but lice are actually little bugs. And these puppies are not moving. They're not going anywhere. Now, if they were, then that would be a problem. But you guys, take a look at how everything's looking. I know that my waves are a little bit deeper now. After doing that, it's coming together, that's for sure. It's taken a while for the top of my head to get there. They're barely sure to get ripples lately. So you can see them. The thing about ripples, especially on the top of my head, like there's no connections really whatsoever. So give that a couple weeks and I'm gonna be wolfing for the next couple weeks. So we'll see how things turn out. So with that being said, with me wolfing all the way out, I'm literally wolfing my hair. So growing it continually, brushing at the same time until it gets to the length that I want to start my dreadlocks. And at that point, I'm going to stop brushing and allow my hair to lock up with whatever method I choose. But it's gonna be pretty cool to see how long I allow my hair to wolf. And I'm expecting my waves to get really deep during the wolfing stage. Now, during this time, I'm going to be still getting a lineup and everything like that, because I don't want my lineup to be all the way down here, or my hair to be all the way down here just from not getting lineups. So that's the plan. And then from here on out, just wolfing. And we'll see how everything goes. I remember uh, Nick Wavy actually did this. He wolfed all the way out and then just went into an afro and then he ended up cutting his hair back down. But that's basically what I'm gonna be doing is wolfing all the way out into an afro and then dreadlocks. But you guys, what do you think about the buildup? I'm telling you, it's natural. Don't be afraid to try it because you will find some stuff in your hair and you'll be thankful that you did it so that's not actually inside your hair. But you guys, other than that, that is the update video on my waves and me cleaning out my hair. And I think this is a great way to actually properly clean your scalp with using a lice comb. It just works and it helps out with allowing your hair to breathe and it coming down to your, you know, your natural hair without a whole bunch of oils and unneeded stuff in there. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.